Hi everybody, uh, Sarah here. Um, everything's going pretty all right so far. Like I said, we're still moving out, so walls and everything is pretty much empty. We're basically going to get the furniture moved out by Saturday. And then by May 1st, we're gonna be in a hotel for like the next two days until school's technically over, so. That's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, other than that, doing pretty good. I'm trying to make sure I get everything in here done because I am still going out today as well. So, all right then. Um, I'm gonna be talking about Sally Beamish. Um, she's a composer and a viola player. Um, she studied the violin and the viola at RNCM and worked about 10 years as a viola player in several London ensembles. Um, it was in 1986 where she received her first professional commission, Dances and Nocturnes. And then um, in 1989, she would move to Scotland and she would begin to concentrate more on compositions where she would be aided by things like um, Arts Council Berseri. Um, there at Scotland, she founded the Chamber Group of Scotland with James Macmillan and her husband Robert Irvine. Um, her music would draw from many different sources, one of them being motherhood and important, uh, like, wait, one of them being motherhood as an important inspiration. Um, so it would be shown in works like Tuscan Lullaby. She would also use traditional Latin texts that would be interspersed uh, with poems. So like one of the poems like in the Tuscan Lullaby and other ones, some of them would be like by Elizabeth Jennings, things like that. Um, there is also Scottish influences with, uh, with her work and you can hear it by using something called a uh, pibrach. Pibrach or Pibrock. Um, the piano in a piano trio, um, Pio uh, in 1991, and also in her first symphony in 1992, which would be commissioned by the city of Reja Re uh, sorry, Reykjavik. Um, and many of her other works also had inspirations from ballads, books, like one of them being All Quiet in the Western Front, and religion, like one of her pieces was inspired by um, Peter being first rejected by Jesus, and then it would be like humanity's redemption kind of thing. So there's a lot of that sprinkled in around her works. Um, one of the songs that I'm going to talk about is um, In the Stillness, which has a lot to do with those um, religious themes as well. So what it's basically um, saying, here, let me pull this up, is that it's like, oh, it's in the stillness of like this church where it's like it's soft of like of white snow, bright colors of the sky, um calm pool of like this healing light and it's supposed to be like oh like where the angels are like singing around this so i thought that was really interesting um what i did notice some of the things in the piece that i did notice um was that it's a mixture of men and women but you can really only hear the women in it the men are very quiet i want to say that the women are mostly at first, I think I thought they were sopranos. They were singing very high, but I think there's also a mixture of sopranos and altos. What I couldn't tell from the men is if they were tenors or if they were any lower than that. I want to say that they were lower than that, but they also were singing pretty high, so it's probably a mix of both. I don't think it's baritone, but maybe it is baritone. I can't fully remember. Um, but the voices are very, like, the same pitch throughout the whole thing and it's like this medium like kind of range like ah, kind of like that so it's all like that throughout basically the whole piece the pitch is the same it's more like the, the if it gets like a louder quieter and it get, it mainly goes from like oh it's the same tone then it gets quiet and then it goes back to that same tone so that's what a lot of that piece is and I tried looking for lyrics and I wasn't I don't know if I could find any of them. Basic, yeah, 
unless that that might be what the lyrics are it's like it's a little bit hard to tell if you're not really paying attention about it so yeah other than that um it's in the middle of the piece where it begins to have a slight crescendo to be louder but other than that it's basically the same throughout the whole thing um i did notice it's um sounds like it was in a major key there's a lot of tonality it's like those they all like flow together and the notes just sound like just right for each other so that's what i noticed not a lot of um stepwise intervals or anything like that nothing off key it feels very safe if that makes sense so it's like oh it's like say it's like oh you're in a church you're like safe like it's supposed to be calming and that's kind of all that it really is it's just a very relaxing kind of piece and you know what that's fine that's fine there's nothing wrong with that that's still good in its own right too right so that's just some of the things that i noticed in this piece um i do think that she's an interesting composer i wish that i could find a little bit more stuff about her but it's okay it's like she still has a pretty um strong lineup of her works it doesn't seem like there's that many though but i believe that she might still be making some i could check oh dear there we go yeah she's still releasing so it was in the stillness it was in the stillness that she had just recently like came out with so i think that's funny um but yeah she'll she's still making work which is good for her i'm glad because it does sound it's very nice and interesting and unique in its own way but yeah other than that that's basically it i think she is an interesting composer it's like i would like to see more from her as well um but yeah other than that I like I say check check them out nothing wrong with that and yeah uh, that's pretty much it from me I'm gonna keep continuing to put things in boxes trying to figure out where to put stuff so wish me luck on that and I don't know if we have another composer report if we do I'll see you all then so uh, enjoy your guys's weekend Bye.